Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and it is the end of a decade, guys. Like, it is crazy to think that, like, basically 10 years has already passed. In 2010, I was graduating high school. I was entering college. I feel I was a completely different person. I mean, for one, I looked totally different. For two, I feel my personality was still kind of close, but I feel, like, completely different now. I feel I was a lot more shy like sometime in high school, I don't know. I, I just feel I'm a completely different person after 10 years. And with that person change, my art has also changed. Every year on the channel, I've been doing a redraw of taking my old art and redrawing it at the end of every year. So I thought this year we'd specifically target things from 2010, 2011 to showcase the end of a decade. So my archive of old art is basically my deviant art. I barely use it anymore. I know that the site has advanced and there's been a bunch of upgrades, so I would love to check it out again, but I just haven't touched it. I've been really liking Instagram. But you can always find really old art of mine on my deviant art, and it consists of, I will totally admit it, where I traced over other art or where I was trying to freehand dragons or other things or just a lot of random contests that they used to hold in the old days of DeviantArt. So many different things. And oh my God, it's a little cringy to me just to see like old art and just kind of, it, it's just fun to see my mentality when I was younger and what I liked. Cause I mean, I still like a lot of the same things and like the anime and the shows that I watched, I still love, but it's kind of fun to see it through like my younger perspective. So specifically, I wanna to go towards something that's in 2010, which is kind of like in this zone, like 2011, 2010 is right around here. And one of them that I saw was this one. So this one I named like Griffin of the Stars, which I made this like lion griffin like thing with this cool galaxy going on behind it. And I really loved it. This was actually December 17th, 2009. So this was the year, like this is like, yeah, basically now, 10 years ago. I didn't even plan this, this is like perfect. This is exactly like 10 years ago from when I'm like recording this. So I really love mythical creatures all the way from back then. And I thought this would be a great one to redraw and like reinterpret it in my current style and also be able to do some cool like galaxy art and like cool space stuff. So I'm excited to jump in and redraw this piece. So let's grab this, bring it back into Photoshop, and I'm going to try to sketch it to fit the same like pose and the look and try to basically replicate it piece for piece just in a more up-to-date style and look. Let's jump in and get that started. So I was super excited to jump in and do this redraw because I love doing these every year. I can't stress enough how awesome it is to kind of see your progression as an artist. It's just really cool to see basically where you started and where you are now. And I think it's kind of important, at least for me personally, especially with this YouTube channel, to keep doing these. Because I started this channel as of January, it's gonna be four years ago. Four years ago I started this channel and my style has changed so much. I've grown a lot as an artist. I've started leaning in a lot more to my strengths. Like I really love creature design and doing like Dungeons and Dragons stuff. I basically, have become a lot less, uh, or not less, I guess um, more, what is it called? I guess, oh, there we go, less shameless. Basically, I'm going to make what I wanna make and I'm gonna create the things I wanna make on this channel and basically just make videos that I have fun with. And I'm super passionate about creatures and monsters and Dungeons and Dragons and nerdy stuff and this channel has just been a slow progression of me showing that even more. Like, I, I don't think I've ever really made something on the channel that I wasn't passionate about. There have been a few videos over the years that I was like, nah, this is like a trend, I just wanna jump on it, and I ended up not liking it as much, but that happens pretty infrequently. I usually try to do something that I really love and I'm passionate about, but I can see it more in my newer videos. Like, before I tried to jump on different trends that were happening and they became exhausting, like the ABC challenge, I, uh, looking back, I remember I didn't really like doing it, but I was like, I gotta complete it now that I started it. And there was a lot of mixed emotions with that one. But now I'm like, no, you know, I wanna make series that I wanna make. I wanna make like videos that I love and I'm passionate about and something that I would wanna watch. So I don't know, it's, there's been a lot that has changed in four years. And then personality wise too, like I feel 
my presence has gotten a lot better on this channel in terms of like how talking to camera, obviously that improves with practice and things like that always change as you keep doing things. But I feel a lot more confident in making my videos. I mean, there are some days I still struggle with, I guess the, the artist imposter syndrome of like, am I good enough to do this? Like, should I make videos on YouTube? You know, you, you, a lot of you probably suffer from something similar, even if it's not with art. A lot of us suffer, suffer with some type of imposter syndrome in our life. And I know this is becoming kind of a more mental health, emotional rant, but you know, it's important to think about where we've come in the years that we've been, you know, on this earth. And I, I think this is a perfect opportunity, at least for me to tell you guys how I'm feeling in the upcoming 2020. And I'm really excited because there's a lot of things that I want to change in, in my life and in my career in 2020. There's going to be a lot of big decisions that I have to make actually in 2020. And they're kind of scary. I, I'm very scared for some of the things I want to do next year. Um, it's not like mortal danger, but it's so outside my comfort zone. It's just basically going against everything anyone's ever told me to do in terms of like career and life and everything, you know, it's, it's going to be a big year and reflecting with this piece really is bringing it into perspective. You know, like I have so many goals and ambitions and things I want to do with my art career that I just, you know, I'm just going to keep reaching for the stars and I'm hoping to, well, I guess if I hit the moon, that will be great. <laughs> I know it's like, uh, probably a cheesy line there, but I'm going to keep trying my best and reaching as far as I can. And 2020 is going to be a pretty crazy year. That's all I can say. Like, I don't know how much I want to reveal yet, but I'm wanting to do a lot next year. And I mean, one of the things I can reveal is like, one, I'm going to be doing a bunch more conventions. I'm taking a huge gamble on conventions next year. Like I'm already approved for quite a few. And a lot of them are outside of Arizona and outside of California. So it's not like driving distance. I'm going to have to actually like fly and like book a hotel. Like it's going to be a big financial gamble next year, but I am ready and willing to take the jump because I, I have just felt it, you know, I've been feeling this is the right path. I've been feeling the need to want to do more art and create more stuff for here on YouTube and just as in general, as an artist. And yeah, it's been a pretty hectic 2019 to say the least, like whirlwind of emotions, whirlwind of just everything. Like one, I got my appendix taken out. That was like probably the worst health thing that happened this year. And, uh, juggling this in a day job has been crazy and ridiculous. And it's been a lot of growing pains, but I wouldn't trade any of the experiences for anything except I probably would trade my appendix dying. <laughs> For sure, I would like to that not to have happened. That was not very fun, but 2019 was a really good year. I grew a lot. I made a lot of amazing new friends. A lot of amazing things happened. We had VidCon, we had um, my other Comic Cons. I've made so many friends and grown as a creator and I'm just so excited to go into 2020 with you guys. Like, I can't thank you enough for your support here in 2019. And I can't wait to make more cool stuff for you guys in 2020. You're still going to get obviously a few videos here in 2019 before we ring in the new year. But again, thank you guys. Like your support means the world to me. And this is why I keep creating videos like this, seeing your guys' reactions and seeing others inspired by my work really drives me to keep making these videos. So. Again, I thank you guys, and I really urge you to keep creating and keep making art. And uh, again, I can't thank you enough for fulfilling this girl's dream of wanting to be a character designer and a creature artist.
All right, guys, and we are all done repainting my old painting from 2009. So here is the newest one from 2019 compared to my 2009 drawing. So as you can see, a lot has changed in 10 years. Like just looking back at my old piece, I remember thinking this old one on the right was like the best work I'd ever done. I was so excited back in 2009 and I was really proud of this piece. And it's totally fine to be proud of old work, especially when you're developing as an artist. Like every year you're gonna get better. Every time you make an art piece, you're gonna get better. So like, I remember thinking I was hot shit making this griffin on the right, but man, I love seeing the improvement compared to the left piece. It's just so crazy to think about how much an artist can change over time and putting 10 years of difference in between really shows the difference. And I wanna encourage any of you guys who are starting art or maybe struggling through the process of wanting to improve your work to just keep going because like, it takes time. I know there's some just amazing one-off artists that like somehow improve in a year and go from like stick figures to like Van Gogh style or like amazing top tier quality art, Michelangelo, any of those type of things. Like I understand there are the one in a million people, but most of us, it takes time to get better and it takes practice and pushing yourself outside your comfort zone and just making art over time will improve your, your skill in general. So again, Coming up to the end of 2019, just reflect on how you've grown as an artist here in this year. If you're struggling to figure out like, oh man, like why am I not improving fast enough? Like just stop, take a minute, compare and see where you've already come. It just takes time. So I encourage all of you to keep drawing, keep making art and I believe in you. I know you guys can do it. So thanks again guys so much for stopping by and checking out this video. And I love how this Griffin piece turned out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do pre-orders for it on my website, we're gonna do prints and I think I'm gonna to try to get a shirt done. So if the shirt's done, it's gonna be down in the description below, but you can go pick up a shirt of this Griffin or the print. And then I'm thinking, I'm gonna put a poll here. Would you guys like me to make like those like squishy, like game mat things or like the desktop uh, mats, kind of similar to like a mouse pad? I have no clue what they're technically called, but I know the Twitch chat was talking about, they would love to see that on one. So let me know in the poll if you would like me to produce one with this cool Griffin on it. So thanks again guys so much for stopping by. And if you like this video, I'd love if you hit a like and subscribe if you're new here. Like I make monsters and dragons and a bunch of cool art here on the channel. And I would love if you became a member of the community. So thanks again guys, and I will see you all next time. Bye everybody.